Brig gets the most value in Overwatch through her interactions encountering the enemy. That said, let's go through all the interactions of every hero to know how you can shut them down. I recently made a Brig guide that goes over how to play Brig, but didn't go through every single hero. So now here's one tip versus every hero. Against D.Va, she does not have a shield and is quite large. It is easy to whip shot at her to proc Inspire. Also, when 1v1ing D.Va, bash away from her rocket missiles so her burst damage goes way down and you can win the 1v1. Save bash for when she DMX too so you can kill her faster. If you rally, you can also just stun her out of the DMX. Playing against a Doomfist can be hard and easy. The easiest way to counter a Doom is to play in unexpected places and behind walls where he can't see you after it's too late. Boop him whenever you can. Also, when Doom is charging a punch, use the sound cue provided to know the cast time, then you could do two things. You can either counter stun him so you both drop to the ground, which can be good for certain situations when Bash is ready and you're inside your team, but you can also just wait around a wall so he can't hit you and bash him when he comes in. Also, make sure you shield his ultimate so he doesn't do any damage to you. If you're rallying, he's also a great stun target. Keep distance against Junker Queen as she is a very close range brawly hero. Trying to walk up on her and just go at her will leave you defeated as her big knife does a lot of damage. When she gets too close, don't be afraid to bash away from more distance. Boop Junker Queen constantly so you're not only annoying the person, but you're also denying Junker Queen and where she wants to be up close and personal. Rally can also be used to counter her ultimate as the stun will completely stop her and the overhealth for your team will go on top of the anti as well as your armor for yourself. Against Orisa, be wary of her javelins so you can block them. Orisa's like to use their javelin swing rotatey thing, then immediately throw the javelin. Be ready with your shield up if she's booping you with it, as the player will most likely try to spear you directly after. Inspire does not proc while she is swinging that thing around though. Also, I like to use Whipshot on Orisa when she uses Fortify, so Inspire will still proc, but I won't poop her away from my team. Against her ult, always bash away because her ult goes through shields. If you know she has it, try not to use bash, save it for when she ults so you can make sure that you live. Ramacho can be hard to play Brig into, but not if you know what to do. When Ramacho is in his regular mode, it's pretty easy to 1v1 him, even through his shield. However, as soon as he pulls out those big fisty boys, you gotta get out of there. Don't even try to swing or do damage to him, just bash away immediately, as when he's in the swarm, he can directly shoot through shields and does insane damage. In this case, it's actually worse to hold up your shield as you move slower. So bash away and keep the shield down for faster positioning in the fisty form. When taking an engagement with fights, in general, General, always be aware of Ramatra's positioning and his fisty form so you can always stay away. Ramatra's ult is super powerful. You can also bash away to break the tether from him and boop him from your teammates. Brig's shield does block the tether, but again, he can shoot right through them anyway. Rally is sometimes okay to counter Ramatra's ult as it only lasts for 10 seconds, but can help you if you're mid-fight and need to sustain your team until you kill him or disconnect it. Against Reinhardt, you cannot 1v1 him. He can easily three swing you to death, so make sure if he's coming onto you to bash away immediately and create distance and then turn around and whip. Also be all tracking his earth shatter so you can block it and then he can't follow up on you. Don't jump when trying to block the shatter cause you still will get shattered. Also rallying after you block a shatter is super good to stop Ryan from following up on anyone that got put on the ground with a big stun. When a Roadhog lands a hook on another teammate, you can use your whip shot to boop him so he won't one-shot them. When you see a hog in medium to close range, just hold your shield up until he hooks your shield. If you know he has hooked or hooks your shield, then you can go for whip shots on him. Try not to get too close to hog as he does the most damage up close. Rally's stun cannot stop a hog out as it is uncancelable, but stunning his heal if you're rallying is pretty powerful. When going against Sigma, you should be going back and forth between shielding and doing damage. When he's using his hyperspheres, put up your shield blocking the damage. Then in the downtime when he isn't shooting, whip your flail proccing inspire and doing damage. You should be able to get about two swings before having to shield again. You can also shield Sig's rocks, and it has a pretty obvious cast time so be ready to block it. You can also stun out of Sigma's ultimate by using your shield batch to not get picked up, or if you have rally, you can also stun him to cancel his ult. Winston can do a lot of damage through your shield. When Winston jumps you, you should whip him as he is in midair, or you can immediately bash away now as bash momentum is not hindered by shields. Try to stand outside the bubble when hitting him with primary fire as your mace goes through shields, but if your other support can't heal through shields, then you can still be healed. Also, if he primals, boop and bash away from him so he cannot juggle you or your teammates, and rally stunning a Winston is a good target to destroy them. Wrecking Ball is a good hero to counter and you can always shut him down heavily. Balls like to go from behind and angles to boop your team forward or to the side. 
Make sure you're always looking around to see where he's coming from and whip him. However, if you were exactly 180 degrees from the ball, you can bash his momentum outside of Rally and it will significantly slow him. Also, use sound effect cues of hearing his tether and be ready to roll him. When ball pile drives, make sure you look up to see where he's going to land, look forward so you shield it properly, then do not whip him so your team can do more damage. But if he doesn't die as rolling away, you can get extra damage and a boop on him to get more inspire. Also, when ball alts and you're in the middle of it, don't be afraid to bash to get out of it. You can also proc inspire off of mines, but be careful standing too close to them and be on the lookout. Balls like to roll around after the mines are deployed and boot people into them. So while getting inspire on the mines, don't stand in the spot to get booped into them. Zarya is also one of Briggs' biggest counters with her high damage and bubbles to block your abilities. Be careful when going against Zarya and create distance by bashing away from her and into hard cover. Bubbles heavily counter Brig when herself or an ally gets the bubble. You can bash directly through them now, so if you need to get away, don't worry about it being in your face. I think there can be opportunities to rally if you're in a grab for extra damage blocking with big and thick shield. I wouldn't do it though if the enemy team is on top of you or if they have a combo like Pulse Bomb or Dragon Strike. Against Ash, be wary of her dynamite and the potential to block it with your shield. Brig shield is small and can be a bit finicky, but you can block it. You can also get Inspire from Bob, but be careful about booping him into different sight lines for your team. There's not much you can do against Bastion. Stay out of LOS, whip him when you can, and shield his ultimate or bash out of it. If a Bastion is too far forward, rallying after your shield breaks to immediately refresh it can be a good way to against the turret form and stun him to stop doing some damage. Cassidy can also be hard to play against in the 1v1 due to his long range poke damage and magnetic grenade. Try to shield his magnetic grenade if you haven't seen him use it. After he uses it though, going in for more damage can be strong. You can also shield a high noon as you're trying to get around a corner while he is casting it. Try not to have many people behind your shield if there is no hard cover for you to get behind because your shield can break and then he shoots you. If you are in range, rally and stun his ultimate as it will be canceled. Again, not much you can do against Echo while she's in the air. If Echo tries to sticky bomb you, shield the sticky bombs and drop them so the damage isn't going onto your shield. If the Echo sticky bombs you, do not put your shield up. If you live the explosion damage, Echo will try to use her focusing beam to kill you. See, if you try to keep your shield up, it would just have taken unnecessary damage. This way you can maximize the health on your shield and immediately holding up blocking the dangers of the focusing beam. Against Genji, you can counter him well. Make sure you shield his shurikens from range so he cannot chip you down and whip him to do extra damage. Make sure you're keeping an eye on your other support too so he can't one-shot them. Regular bash does work through deflect with damage and inspire. Also, alt track his ultimate so you can save your abilities for when he blades and you can shut him down. Rally, stun, and whip a Genji so he can't follow up on anyone. You can even stun him a second time once the cooldown comes back. If you don't have rally, shield bash away from him and then turn around and whip. But be careful, Genji sometimes will deflect so that you can't get the boop. Just be patient and wait for the deflect to end so you can ensure the boop. Try to play a bit farther back than normal when he wants to play it so you can create some distance so he isn't coming onto you vertically. Hanzo is a long range sniper character that can cause some problems for Brig. I would generally not advise peeking him and trying to whip him so you don't get one shot. However, if you're able to close the distance, you'll have the greatest chance of 1v1ing him in the very close range. Like Sigma, shield his arrows and do damage when he is charging the next arrow shot. However, if he's using storm arrows, just keep your shield up for as long as possible before it breaks. Have fun playing Brig against the Junkrat, it kinda sucks. If you do though, because their team is running heroes you need to counter, try to shield his mines if he is shooting, and you can also block tire with your shield, but be careful like before, don't jump so you can ensure you block the tire damage. Against Mei, try to boop her away the entire game from your tanks and team so she can't get close enough continuously. You can shield Mei's freeze for a short while, but bash away if you need to create distance. You can also bash out a blizzard to not get frozen. You really can't do anything against Far besides practicing your whip shots in the air. You can shield some of her rockets, but I would not advise playing Brig into Far, especially if you find yourself dying a lot. Position yourself inside and places where it's hard for Far to hit you from above. If you play well, you can counter a Reaper. Treat Reaper like Mei, boop him whenever you can so he cannot close the distance and bash away for extra safety. Reaper does the most damage up close. Also, be all tracking his ultimate so you can rally stun it and cancel it. When Sojourn has her one shot rail, she will glow a little. If you see this, just hold your shield up in her direction. This way you can tank the shot into the shield so she isn't trying to one shot someone else. You want to be up close and personal to win the 1v1 though and stay out of those nades so you aren't taking extra damage. 
Rallying a Sojourn ult can be powerful if you're able to be close enough so you can shield the extra damage and stun her. You basically want her to shoot your shield so it doesn't end now for your team. Against Soldier, I would also advise avoiding him until you get in a close range to 1v1 him. Also, if he is visoring, you can rally like against Sojourn ult to block all of it with your shield and stun him so he stops doing damage for a second. Otherwise, you could try to burst him down with the extra damage and bash or stun, or you could even use it for a movement to get into a better position. Brick can definitely hard counter Somber with her consistent flail damage and armor packs. Be keeping an eye out for audio cues of Somber's gun and voice lines to know where she is and armor pack the target that is getting focused by her. You can shield the hack from Somber so you don't get hacked either. Something powerful to do as a support when playing against Somber is try to all track her EMP and use Rally from behind cover when she EMPs, saving your team. This makes it so that you can sustain with the over health and the extra shield blocking. Be careful when using Rally before EMP as if your shield is up, the hack will completely completely break your shield and you have to wait 5 seconds for it to come back. It can be hard 1v1ing Symmetra with her turrets and high damage, so I would advise staying with your team and fighting together if she goes too aggressive or too deep. Remember, you want to be playing Brick defensively to shut down the enemy. You can do damage and throw armor packs through her ultimate, and remember, you can always rally stun through shields as well to stop her tier 3 beam for a short moment. Against Torb, try to stay out of line of sight of his turret so you aren't taking the extra damage. There's not much you can do as Brick to shut him down, so just staying alive against Torb and staying out of his coom is the best way to live. You are his daughter after all. Tracer is obviously very counterable on Brig. Good Tracers in a 1v1 situation, however, can win all of them, so I would never advise chasing a Tracer. You want to stay inside your team while poking her out so she doesn't do damage to your team. But also don't isolate yourself. It's the prime of the triple D. Distract, disrupt, destroy. Distract this tracer and disrupt her gameplay so she does nothing and you destroy their team. Be mindful of your other support again here so she doesn't one clip them. If you manage to get whip shots on tracer it's very strong because whip shot does 70 damage which is basically taking away half of tracer's 150 HP making her run. Tracer's pulse bomb is also a weird interaction. Tracers normally go for pulse bomb when they aren't shooting and do a triple blink to close the distance. Just hold up your shield in these moments and try to block them. If the pulse bomb is any anywhere out of the center of the shield, you can drop it, especially if it's on the side so it doesn't kill you. But if it lands too close to the center, do not drop the pulse bomb or it will stick to you. Rallying stun combo also one-shots Tracer, but fast Tracers are able to recall before you get the full combo off. Wudu is another one of those long-range DPS that is hard to counter with Brig. However though, Brig is the best at pinging a Widow as you just hold up your shield the whole time and you can easily ping her for your team. You can also distract Widow from holding your shield in her direction, so she shoots it instead of your team. In close range, you can always win the 1v1. If you find yourself dying to Widow a lot, just be more aware of sight lines and use your shield always. Shielding Ana's abilities is the best way to shut her down. Shielding her anti and sleep dart can be powerful. If one of your teammates is sleeping, you should almost always shield it to avoid them from being antied if you're in a position to do so. Bap is a hero that kind of acts alone outside of Briggs' existence, so you don't need to do much against him. Just be careful of the high damage from the window. Going up against another Brig can be an interesting interaction. Don't forget bash damage and stun and rally will go directly through their shield. Use Whipshot as a finisher ability so you don't boop her away and you can get more damage off. You can also bash away from her always though. Kiriko can do a lot of damage, so be careful if you find yourself 1v1ing her, but it's not the worst interaction. Use your shield so you don't take up too much damage. If she is poking from a weird off angle, you can always do a quick bash to make her TP away. Brigand Lifeweaver doesn't have much interaction either in games, but booping him off his pedal platform and disrupting his gameplay can help you distract, disrupt, destroy. If Lucio gets too close to you, you can definitely shut him down as Brig. A simple bash whipshot combo can do lots of damage to him and stop his momentum. If you notice that Lucio likes to red it and go for kills, throw armor packs on those targets and bash him whenever he gets too aggressive to kill him. If you manage to rally stun a beat, that is super good. There isn't much you need to do to shut down a Mercy as Brig, but you can whipshot her and do extra damage to force her into a bad position. If she reses in the open, whipshot her or rally stun so you can cancel the res. Same for Moira, like Mercy, there isn't much you can do, but be careful careful about taking too much damage from Coalescence, you can always rally stun it to cancel it when you can. I also like the shield damage orbs when they're thrown in my direction. And lastly, we've come to Zenyatta. Definitely don't be afraid to whip him to do extra damage and displace him, but be careful of being discorded. If you are discorded and someone dives you, you die a lot faster. So try to go around corners and LOS it so the discord comes off of you before the fight starts. And thanks so much for watching. Start applying these tips into your games and watch the SR roll in. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or come by one of my Twitch streams at twitch.tv forward slash holy shift kid.